Just so you know, I have a letter for you. If, if you want to say, yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. Uh, the other thing is, um, I know obviously as an actor, a lot of preparation goes into your work and your performance. But also, we learn. I'm in acting school with a bunch of my friends now, and we're learning a lot about for film. It takes a lot of you know spontaneity in surprising yourself. So I was wondering how how you were able to kind of reconcile the two between doing the necessary work for your character while also surprising yourself and living inside the moment and not forcing that. Yeah, I love that question because, you know, that freshly leaving drama school myself has like a big anxiety where you don't want people thinking that you didn't prepare for your role or that you didn't um, orchestrate it in some capacity. But I don't know, the people that are really like theater oriented and they want to be like in the control room and mapping it out, but I just know as an audience member that's not what I like to see. I like like Blue is the Warmest Color, James White, or these movies where it looks like people are discovering stuff on screen as they go along. So, like I said, in the pre-production process, I try to be as stringent as possible about really knowing what uh, the character is about, and then come time to do it, um, yeah, you try to capture those moments of spontaneity. And like on the other side of that, you're thinking, don't try to be interesting, don't try to be entertaining, just be. And also, it's trusting the director, or Luca, and that there's a moment of spontaneity in this movie that will no good, and they didn't make it in. <laughs> so, uh, and then getting the opportunity to play tape to tape. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. more. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Am I allowed to stand up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so one more, one more. Hi, here. Are you all take this? Okay, I'll um, oh, yeah, yes. Here, this. Oh. Oh. Right here. Right there. Oh, so this is my first time watching this after the New York Film Festival. I've been in love with the film. And my favorite thing is actually um, the thing my adult is like sitting on the steps and then waiting like Oliver to come back. And uh, I noticed that you are having that star in your mouth. I just wondering like whose idea was that and how was the shooting of that thing? And I think Luke and I found that together because we did a, there's that scene earlier in the film where I, I'm swimming and I come out the water with the star of David in my mouth. Mm. And so initially that's just what happened in the scene, but then he had already started editing the movie and wanted to use that. And so when, we, when it came time to shoot that scene, he said, you know, put the star of David in your mouth again. And, uh, and, and so that's, I guess, the origin of that was. But I like that sequence too that you're alluding to where I'm sitting on the steps because they shot that and they sent the film to Milan where it got developed. And when it came back, there was, it was, yeah, it was, uh, I don't know what, what, what film geeks would call it, but uh, when the film gets is, uh, corroded or something. And they kept it, and that's what those blue flickers are. That wasn't like an editing choice. That's just how the film came.